Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to another Black Library review. Part 38, Ariman Unchanged. The third book in the Ariman series and I loved it. It was great and it just was so apparent that this is basically just one story uh, broken apart in three books. And the only thing which separates the books is the timeline in between the books, which was just, um, as I have uh, read this somewhere, that some short stories were in between. Uh, I haven't read those and that's okay, because basically everything is explained in the books itself and the short stories are just gap fillers. But I will read them nonetheless whenever I have the time. So uh, I did finish the book on Tuesday. It's Thursday as of recording this right now. I was just so <laughs> exhausted with, uh, with work, so sorry for that. But yes, back to the novel. This is so amazing. It's the... the Zinch book, which I have always hoped for, and I don't know why uh, no Zinch fans are talking about this novel or this series. Because for me personally, it has everything I want from a, C a Zinch book. It has intrigue, it has plans within plans within plans within plans which is the plan. <laughs> it has a cameo with Zinj itself. And I don't know, there is so much. It has drawbacks to the Horus heresy. It, uh, it talks about the heresy, the burning of Prospero and the shattering of Magnus into his several shards. And he even makes a cameo as well. Not he himself, uh, several of his shards and how they are exacting the plans against each other using Ariman and Ariman using the shards and other thousand suns. And there is so much in this novel. And I will listen to this again. It is great and usually I don't listen to novels more than once um, but I do know that I missed stuff because sometimes I was just distracted but this is such a great story uh, that I'm so excited for Ariman Eternal which is the next one I already loaded it onto my phone so that I can listen to it after today and yeah there are so many characters coming back uh, some of them from the heresy some of them from book one and two and this is a slight spoiler uh, even some characters who we thought dead I won't name them just so and one of the greatest cameos in my mind, not only Magnus and Zinj, but Ariman's brother. And I don't mean brother, I mean his blood brother, his, the brother he's born with from the same parents. And there is so much great stuff um, because we get to see more of Ariman's thought process and how broken his character is. There is a mirror between Ariman and Magnus because Magnus is shattered in his essence and he has multiple versions of himself floating around uh, the universe and Ariman is shattered in his mind. So uh, his mind is depicted as a landscape. It, it's basically his dreams. Uh, 
for the lack of better word, I will call it dreams. Um, and there are several characters walking around there, which have basically their own, um, not only essence, it's more, um, they are aware of themselves. So they're basically really there. So he can go into his mind, talk to them, learn from them. And this is really, really great. I love those parts. And uh, whenever he walks around, he sometimes sees doors. And the majority of them he built himself. So he knows, okay, there is a memory behind there. I don't want to see this. It's just too hurtful. Which also elevates him with his character. He's a complicated character. He got from a depressed Ahriman in the beginning of book one to a strong Ahriman in book two to a conflicted and so fascinating character. I forgot why I loved him so much until I listened to this audiobook. And there is so much I could talk about. However, the majority of that would be absolute spoiler filled. And I don't want to fill this with spoilers. The problem is I want to talk so much about this because I had a Godsbane, which was amazing. We had the Prince Mesa novel, which was amazing. So yeah, we had so many great books, but the majority of them were one book. And as I've said, this is one story separated into three books, which is for me, I, I'm reading too much into this. Um, also a mirror to Ahriman and Magnus, because they're also separated into multiple beings. Well, with Ahriman just his mind and with Magnus literally his being. And this is great. I really, really loved it. There is so much happening in there. There isn't much filler for me personally. And I have read some criticism here and there, but I can't see this. Of course, there are some minor flaws in the pacing of the story, but none of them feels like filler. So, so this is amazing. I have nothing to say about this except for I'm so much looking forward to Ahriman Eternal. But I'm thinking about re-listening to the short audio dramas because I really enjoyed those back in the day as they were released. And I will probably will paint Ahriman because it's just too great. <laughs> uh, I just have to find the model. I only know where my pewter metal Araman is and he's missing his head. <laughs> uh, but yeah, ah, oh, this is so great. This, so John French just blew my mind with this novel. So again, I don't know why so many Zinch fans aren't talking about this. Uh, for me personally, this should be a recommendation for every new Zinch Thousand Sum player. Maybe they are talking about it and I have never seen it. Also a possibility, we don't know the grandeur of Zinch's plan and misdirection and misinformation. So, but he's pretty good in his job. <laughs> so yeah, I have nothing more to say. Um. Please let me know if I should review the audio dramas first before I go into Ariman Eternal. Because it, they are awesome, they are short, I could make... If I remember correct, there are two of them. And I could just make one video about it. Yeah, I can just recommend it. So from my scale, from burn it to devour it, 
if you are a thousand sun and zinge player devour this series because it's great the trilogy is amazing and i really really do hope that there will be more araman novels in our future for everyone else if you are ready for a ride which is longer than just one novel read it i wholeheartedly recommend it so ultimately i will give this a 9 out of 10 it's just amazing it's not perfect however it's still amazing oh and i totally forgot a quick synopsis of the story <laughs> it's just araman tries to cast the rubric spell again and he thinks that so now that he has the anatheum so the let me say it's a book <laughs> it's not a book <laughs> but the book um which tells you about the thoughts of magnus and that he knows the flaws of the rubric which he cast back in the day and yeah this is where the plants with implants with implants with implants as aforementioned comes to a certain point yeah there is so much uh, i would spoil so many things even if i just talk a little bit about them let me just say this is fate come round at last have a great day my friend stay fantastic stay hydrated and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And a quick at addendum. My Horus Heresy box just arrived today. And the trilogy just made me think about painting them as thousand suns instead of ultramarines. I don't know. <laughs>